Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to create database layers and tables for our lake house as per the data model that we discussed in our previous session. If you are new to this series, I would recommend you to go back and watch our previous video of the playlist. Click on the i button on the top to check out the playlist. As in our previous video, we already completed the setup for our environment. Today we are going to initialize our database which will create the tables in Delta Lake and the data files will be saved in S3 as per our configuration. Now as you can see, I have created one IPython notebook called initDB which will be used to create the required database tables for our DW layer and the databases staging, landing and EDW. Now if we go back to our S3 bucket, you can see our warehouse folder is completely empty. This is the location where all our databases landing, staging and EDW will be created. Let's go back to the IPython notebook. Let's run the commands one by one. Now as you can see, I am reading a get spark session function from a library file spark session. Let's open that file. This function is creating the Spark session for us. As you can see, we are creating a blank configuration. Then we are using the builder method to generate a Spark session and return the same. We would be creating similar library files in our future sessions that would be helping us to reuse the code throughout our sessions. Let's go back to our initDB notebook. Now let's run through all the cells one by one. Let's import the required libraries. Let's create our Spark session from the get Spark session function that we created as a library file. When you run the Spark session for the first time, it might take some time as it will import the required library files. Now, once the Spark session is created, you can see a URL printed out. We can use this URL to open our Spark session web UI. As you can see, our Spark session is running. Now let's create the databases EDW, EDW staging and EDW landing. Now as you can see, it has created our databases EDW, EDW LD and EDW STG. Now if we go back to the S3 bucket and refresh the warehouse folder, you can see all three databases created. Now if we go into EDW, you can see it is still empty because the tables are not yet created. Let's go back to the Jupyter Lab. If we go back to our parent folder, you can see two folders created, Derby and Metastore DB. This Metastore DB is used by Delta Lake to manage the schema and the metadata of our database catalog. Now let us run through the tables of EDW. First, we'll create the stored dimension. You can see we have all the required columns here where row width is the surrogate key of the table and we have three audit columns out of which run date is something that we'll discuss in the coming sessions insert date is the current insert date and update date is the update date for the records we'll run the commands for all the dimension table and fact table one by one This final table is the job control table that we will use to log the execution status of our pipelines. Now let's run the soak tables command. You can see all the tables are created. Now all the tables are managed table. We are creating managed tables as we are not specifying locations in any of the create table command. By default, the location of the warehouse is on S3. Now, if I refresh this folder in S3, this is the default location for the warehouse, which is managed by Delta Lake. So if we drop any of the table, by default, the location will also and the data files will also be dropped from S3. Let's stop this part now. 
as you can see, we have successfully created our database model structure for the EDW in the lake house that we are going to use for our future session. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.